Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Brian James here at Three Rivers Wrench. And yes, I got to throw a shout out to my buddy Jeff who made this sign for me. You've probably seen it in other episodes. Very cool stuff. Thanks, buddy. Looks great. Um, if you're tuning in to see more engine rebuild stuff, we're just not there yet. I've got a lot of parts to clean and uh, degrease and get ready for install. And uh, that's we're a couple weeks away from that. But um, what we're going to do is a little filler episode. We're going to finish out our brake system on bear which is the master booster and a pedal assembly a couple hard lines uh, and then put some fluid in it then we're done at least with the brake system so let's rip this stuff apart clean it all up and get it ready to install and then uh, we'll head down to the shop and do it It's not unheard of, but it is rare. It's 65 degrees on February 10th here in Pittsburgh. The sun is shining. This is crazy. I've got the doors open and we're letting paint fumes just fly. Uh, <laughs> what are we up to right now? Let's see, we got the bracket right there. That is done, several coats of paint on that. The proportioning valve itself over here, that this is done, it's, it's drying. Uh, what I used on that was a really cool product, not sponsored, just, Thought I'd try this stuff. This is Seymour Paints. This is Cast Blast. So if you have anything, it's cast iron. It's going to give you that original finished look. This is looking really nice. We're going to use this on the master cylinder. Speaking of master cylinders, here we are. We've got the original one off of Bear. Works great. It's just really nasty. It's going to take a little bit to clean it up. Uh, I don't have to do that, fortunately. Steve, Bear's owner, was able to pick up a brand new master cylinder, won an online auction, I believe, and uh, this one, this one's like brand new. So what I'm going to do is just take a few things off of it and take things off, and we're going to shoot this in the cast blast. This, this is raw steel. It's not protected. We want this not to be rusty in two, three years down the line, so we're going to use this cast blast, see if we can hold that uh, rust from taking over but uh, so we're gonna do that next we got primer on the booster I got a crazy gold paint we're gonna try on this we'll see what it looks like it might be a little bit too blingy I don't know we will see but let's keep going
silver and gold. Yeah, buddy. So why did I paint this freaking bracket silver? Well, you know, they never painted this from the factory. It just sits under the dash and rusts and, you know, I had some extra silver paint, so why not shoot it? And also I thought, hey, well, we're up underneath the dash and this thing's in there, right? You hit that with a flashlight, man, that's really gonna glow and help light things up. Just, just go with it. I'm just, I'm just making excuses. Anyways, the uh, brake pedal pad's new, $10 O'Reilly's. Uh, the brake booster turned out pretty good. A little too gold for my taste, but I think once it's in there with the engine, the engine's gonna make your eyes go to the engine instead of that. But uh, again, the master and the proportioning valve were done in that cast blast by Seymour Paints. I like that. I hope it holds up over time. We'll see. I know for certain we're gonna have to be very careful bucket and any brake fluid on any of this stuff because it will come, it will come off. The paint will come off and it's gonna look like hell. So. We just got to be careful with that, but let's go down there and let's install this stuff and be done with this. Well, what a difference a week makes. Uh, last Saturday, it was uh, 65 sunny. It's 20 and five inches of snow now. So anyways, that's February for you in Pittsburgh. Let's go put these brakes together.
Hey folks, that's a wrap on the brake system, officially. Uh, one more thing off the list, right? Front suspension, rear suspension's done, steering's done, with the exception of a pump. Brake system is done, it is bled. I didn't get into a lot of detail yakking at you, explaining how to bleed. If you wanna see a little bit more detail on that, check out my uh, other video. It is a uh, retrofitting third gen Nova to fourth gen Nova parts, the booster, master. We go into making brake lines and uh, bleeding the whole nine yards. But uh, as far as this uh, deal goes, we are done. You saw I sprayed everything off of the hose, make sure you get all that brake fluid off parts that are cleaned and you know finished because it will take the finish off. Uh, one other thing is make sure after you've plumbed everything and got fluid in it and you think you're done, get somebody to get in there and stand on that pedal and go around and check every fitting and make sure it's not leaking. So uh, that being said, I'm gonna work on this lawn block for the rest of the afternoon and I will see you again very soon. Thanks for watching guys, have a good one.